Welcome to the virtual race brief for the Race Cross Scotland 215 mile. My name is Wayne Drinkwater and I am the event director at GB Ultras and today we're just going to cover some of the key points that you may need to know for the Race Cross Scotland. The race follows one of Scotland's great trails, the Southern Upland Way. Over the last 40 years, the Southern Upland Way Rangers team and their volunteers working alongside local authorities and landowners have established a route which is really well maintained and really well marked. The mark is stretched from coast to coast. Those runners completing the race across Scotland in the top three male and top three female positions for the event will achieve the two-tone race across Scotland buckle. Those runners that finish in the top 25 of the event will receive a gold race across Scotland buckle. Those runners finishing the event from positions 26 to 75 will receive the silver Race Cross Scotland buckle. Those runners finishing the race in position 76 upwards will receive the bronze Race Cross Scotland buckle. Race registration. The start venue for the Race Cross Scotland is at Port Patrick Harbour Community Hub on the harbour where the start line is also based. Race registration will be available on the Friday prior to the event from 5.30pm until 9pm or alternatively on race day morning from 4.15am until 5.30am. If you have pre-ordered one of the GB Ultra's technical t-shirts for the event, you can pick that up at race registration along with having a look at the other merchandise that we have available. At race registration for the Race Cross Scotland 215 mile there will be a kit check so please make sure that you bring all of your kit with you. Only on the Saturday morning prior to the event can you collect your GB race tracking. It's available at race registration. It is already switched on and all you have to do is securely fasten it to your pack. There is a Velcro fastener on the rear of the tracker which allows you to securely fasten a tracker to the shoulder strap or the back of your pack. Please note that the tracking is updated at two minute intervals providing there is GPS signal. Please ensure that you hand your tracker back to the event team at the finish line of the event or if you pull out of the race at any point, please ensure that you hand it back to the team at a nearby checkpoint. Participants have the option of utilising drop bags during the race across Scotland. We can take these drop bags to set points during the race. When you've collected your race number at race registration, you'll also pick up your drop bag labels, which you can securely fasten to your drop bag. On each drop bag label, please make sure that you've got your bib number for the race. Due to the Race Cross Scotland 215 mile being a single stage event, runners spread out, sometimes a great distance, maybe 80 to 120 mile between the fastest runner and uh, those towards the back end of the race. The drop bag locations are Checkpoint 4 at St. John's Town at Dalry Town Hall, Checkpoint 7 at Beatick Village Hall, and Checkpoint 11 at Lauda Scout Hall. Each of your drop bags will make their way over to the finish line as soon as that checkpoint location has closed. So if you finish the race and one of the checkpoints is still open, it's only when it closes that your drop bag will make its way over to you. Each of your drop bags should be approximately the size of a medium sized hold on. The only exception is your finish line bag which can be a bit bigger along the lines of 50 litre. Your drop bag may contain fresh footwear, dry clothing ready for the next section of the route. They may also contain extra nutrition, maybe even a sleeping bag, but please don't uh, keep anything valuable inside the drop bag. We'll also transport an additional finish line drop bag which is taken from the start line to the finish line to be waiting for you there. The Race Cross Scotland starts at 6am sharp subject to any pre-race safety protocols. The team at Harvey Maps have made a new map for the Southern Upland Way which incorporates the full route in one map. Previous to this the first, second and third editions were actually two maps. Runners taking on the Race Cross Scotland receive a 20% discount on the purchase of the race map. Due to the possibility of diversions along the route, as well as your time at checkpoints or possibly coming off the course, mileage is to checkpoints is approximate only. So checkpoints for the Race Cross Scotland 215 mile. Checkpoint 1 is at Castle Kennedy at 13 miles into the race. Support crews are welcome, but please note that there's no support crew parking within the Castle Kennedy private estate grounds. Also, please take care as you cross the road. Checkpoint 2 is at 22 miles and that's at New Loose. This is an outdoor checkpoint, so there is an outdoor event shelter there. No support teams are permitted as there's no parking available. Checkpoint 3 is at Glen Trool Village Hall, which is at 42 miles into the race. Support crews are welcome, however there's limited room inside the checkpoint, so it's at the team's discretion if a support crew member is permitted inside. And there is likely to be some restrictions on how many support crews are permitted inside the checkpoint per runner. 
Checkpoint 4 is at 67 miles into the race, and that is at St. John's Town of Dalry Town Hall, your first drop bag location and the first checkpoint where there's sleeping quarters available. Please ask your support crews to be mindful of local residents outside the checkpoint, given the time that you might be arriving at checkpoint is at night time. Support crews are welcome, but there may also be limitations on the number of support crew that are permitted inside the checkpoint. Checkpoint 5 is at approximately 93 miles into the race across Scotland and that's at Sanka Town Hall. Support crews are welcome. Checkpoint 6 is at approximately 101 miles into the race across Scotland and that's at One Lockhead Community Centre. Support crews are also welcome here. There again may be limitations on a number of support team members permitted inside the checkpoint and the team reserve the right to limit entry to runners only. Checkpoint 7 is at Beatick Village Hall at approximately 121 miles into the race across Scotland. No support crews are permitted at this checkpoint. It's located within a residential area and due to the spread of runners reaching the checkpoint and the span of time, it can impact the local community, particularly at night time if crews are talking outside of houses and closing vehicle doors. So if your support crews want to attend, please ask them to plan to park nearby, park away from the houses. Checkpoint 8 is at approximately 138 miles into the race across Scotland, and that is at Boston Memorial Hall in the Ettrick Valley. Support crews are welcome. Checkpoint 9 is at approximately 153 miles into the race, and that is at Traquair Village Hall. Support crews are welcome at the checkpoint, but please be mindful of local residents given the span of the race and the noise. Checkpoint 10 is at approximately 170 miles into the race across Scotland and it's a new checkpoint. It's at Focus Community Centre and that's in Gala Shields. Support crews are welcome. Checkpoint 11 is at approximately 182 miles into the race and that is at Larder Scouts Hall. Support crews are welcome, but the car park has limited space, so you'll need to park further up the road within Larder. Support crew restrictions may apply. Checkpoint 12 is at approximately 196 miles into the race and that is at the Watch Fishery Lodge. Support crews are welcome. There is limited sleeping facilities at this checkpoint. The finish line for the race across Scotland is at Copath Village Hall and that is 215 miles into the race across Scotland. No support teams are permitted at New Loose, which is checkpoint two, and nor are they permitted at checkpoint seven at Beatick Village Hall. Sleeping quarters will be available during the race across Scotland from St. John's Town of Dalry Town Hall onwards. So that is at 67 miles into the race. There may well be limited uh, space. And also when you're entering the checkpoint, please be aware that other participants may be getting some rest. Please note that there are two checkpoint locations that have very limited sleeping quarters. Those are checkpoint seven at Beatick Village Hall and checkpoint 12 at the Watch Fishery Lodge. You'll also find four mountain bobbies spread over the route, which are nearby to the trail itself. They offer shelter and somewhere dry that you may be able to get some rest. The locations of the mountain bobbies are the Beehive Bobby, which is 27 miles into the race, and that is within Kilgayak Wind Farm. There's also the White Lagan Bobby, which is 54 miles into the race. There's the Chalk Memorial Bobby, which is 85 miles in, uh, also known as the Polshiak Bobby. And there's the Overpar Hope Bobby, which is 132 miles into the race. There is another bobby further on into the race, but it is more off route. During the race across Scotland, 215 mile, you'll also find that sometimes there's long distances between checkpoints that might be 20 or 30 miles. That section alone might take some of us four, five, six hours, and some of us a lot longer. So please bear in mind that your energy is going to be depleting through that section and you really need the ability to fuel up during this period of time so carry extra nutrition and keep those energy levels up in the race across scotland in the lead up to the event the event team will reach out to you via email with a medical form and a questionnaire we need to know whether you have any pre-existing medical conditions or any allergies the race across scotland 215 mile is an unbelievable journey and as such it is shared by participants only so no paces are permitted throughout any of the race itself a pacer is somebody that you've arranged to meet you on the route and runs a section with you. That is not permitted. You're also not permitted to have anybody else carry your mantra kit throughout the event. If you've been found to have had a pacer during any stretch of the route, you may well be disqualified. There is a 100 hour cutoff for the race across Scotland, 215 mile, and dedicated cutoff times 
per checkpoint. You have to reach each checkpoint before the cutoff time. The GPX for the Race Across Scotland is available to download off the GB Ultras website. Many of those who take on the event upload the race route as a GPX file onto their watch or handheld device. Your watch or handheld device may be damaged or your battery may fail during the race across Scotland. Therefore, it's vital that you carry a hard copy Southern Upland Way map as part of your mandatory kit and a compass. The GPX for the race is a guide only. So when it's added to your device, they sometimes optimize and drop the number of points on the GPX so they become less accurate. So just be aware of that, that uh, you should have your GPX and also your map. As you pass through checkpoints, it's essential that we can see your race number. It should be visible and on the front of your person. Particularly as you pass through farmland on the Southern Upland Way, please ensure that you follow the countryside code and close gates behind you and be respectful to the landowner's property. Not closing a gate behind you might mean that livestock escapes those fields, impacting the working farm. We've already mentioned the importance of having the right kit and the right nutrition as you make your way along the race across Scotland. Poor weather conditions can have a detrimental impact on your feet during a race, so we'd highly recommend changing your socks frequently or maybe using waterproof socks or trench foot treatment prior to the race itself. Ongoing self-management and foot care is essential. Should you decide to withdraw from the race across Scotland, we need your BIP number and also your tracker. We need these handed in at either a checkpoint or the race finish. The Mantra Kit is the minimum standard kit that you must carry for the race across Scotland. If you want to carry anything extra, by all means, feel free to do so. But this is the minimum standard kit that you must carry for your own safety during the ultra marathon. Weather conditions during a four day event will change and conditions can change quite rapidly, particularly in the mountains during the race. That is why the Mantra Kit is there, because there may well be changing conditions in the event. If there is a poor weather forecast prior to the race, then we may well add extra Mantra Kit to your kit list. In the event of severe weather, we may well action a low level route during the race. There will also be random kit checks during the race and also potentially at the finish line. So make sure that you're carrying all of your mantra kit. If you are found not to be carrying some of the mantra kit for the race, you could be disqualified or there may well be time penalties imposed. It's important that we all play our part to respect the environment that we're in. During an ultra marathon, you'll be eating on the move, so ensure that any litter from the snacks that you've had during the race are secure in a dedicated pocket in your pack. If you use that pocket for anything else, maybe your mobile phone, be careful not to drop any litter out of that pocket when you take your phone out. Make sure when you come into a checkpoint that you unload all of your litter so it reduces the risk of any litter going on the route. This leads on to the emergency instructions for the race across Scotland. If there is a minor injury, please let a checkpoint, a marshal or race HQ know. During the event, we have our own dedicated medical teams in place at checkpoints and we also have mountain and trail response teams positioned in hard to reach places. So our team will always endeavour to help as soon as possible and we should be your first port of call in the event of an incident that is not a danger to life or limb. Number one, please put on any spare clothing and use your thermal survival bag or bivy bag to keep warm. Number two, trigger the SOS button on the front of your tracker. On the front of the tracker, just underneath the race tracker logo, there is an SOS button. Hold it down for approximately three seconds and that will alert Race HQ that there's an emergency. Please note that that is no substitute to speaking to Race HQ on the phone. Number three, if there is a risk to life or limb and you are at a checkpoint, please call 999 and ask for an ambulance. If there is a risk to life or limb and you're on the mountains, then please call 999 and ask for the police and mountain rescue. Number four, inform Race HQ by calling the numbers for Race HQ that should be saved in your phone. Number five, attract the attention of fellow participants or passers-by by using your whistle or shouting. This completes the emergency instructions for the event and completes the Race Across Scotland virtual race brief. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email the event team at events at gbotrus.com. Please be aware that if you email the event team during race week in the build-up to the event, we cannot guarantee you will get a reply.